I don't know why, but America seems cursed to have ghosts all over the place. Maybe it has something to do with the fact it's built on a few hundred ancient burial grounds, but hey, that's not my issue. If you were to roll your wagon down to San Antonio, Texas and take a trip to Shane Road, you'll find a set of railroad tracks that have become quite the local legend. <laughs> Many years ago, around the 1940s, a school bus full of kids were on their way home from school and was passing over a level crossing when the bus broke down. As the driver struggled to start the bus, a train came barreling down the line. The driver tried to get as many kids off the bus as they could, but it was too late as the train slammed into it, killing roughly 10 children and the driver. Another account of the story says that it was a nun driving the bus late in the evening. Most of the kids were asleep and the nun was trying to quietly restart the bus when the train appeared out of nowhere. The locomotive's headlamp had broken so it wasn't visible until it was bearing down on the bus. The nun tried to wake the kids in time but failed, resulting in 10 children dying. Miraculously, she was thrown out of the front window of the bus on impact and survived the event. Distraught at the thought of causing the deaths of several children, the nun became guilt-ridden and drove to the crossing a few days later, stopping her car in the middle of the tracks, waiting for the next train. Later, when a train did appear, she heard faint familiar voices. Then, her car was slowly pushed forwards off the crossing just before the train would have struck it. She quickly got out of the car and looked around for the person that had saved her life, only to find nobody around and several child-sized handprints on the back of her car. Blessed with newfound purpose, the nun opened an orphanage to look after lost children in the same way the lost children looked after her. To this day, the ghosts are supposedly still there, as if you were to stop your car on the crossing, it is said that the spirits will push your car to safety. Many have tried it and found their cars did move. Others have sprinkled baby powder on their car as they've stopped and reported seeing handprints be left behind after their car was moved. The ghosts have appeared in other ways too. Some say that if you stand by the crossing late at night, you can hear the sound of a steam locomotive approaching. It sounds its whistle and you can hear its brakes scream as if it's trying to stop, but no train is ever seen. Another story involved a local woman driving past the crossing one night and spotting a little girl standing beside the line all alone. The woman stopped and offered the girl a ride home. She got in the car and when they arrived at the girl's house, she seemed hesitant to get out. The woman assumed the girl had fallen out with her parents and ran away from home, so she stepped out of the car saying she'd talk with her parents. As she stepped out of the car, she looked back to give the girl a reassuring smile, only for the girl to have vanished. She opened the car door to find nobody there, with no sign of her around. The seatbelt, however, was still fastened. Another account of the ghosts came a few years ago, when a girl and several of her friends traveled to the site. After taking a few pictures, she emailed them to her mother, only for her to be shocked when she spotted a ghost in one of her daughter's pictures. It is possible, however, that the whole thing has been made up, as despite people hearing children's voices at the scene as well as seeing their handprints, I found conflicting reports that such an accident ever took place in San Antonio. A bus was hit by a train in 1938 during a blizzard, but that was in Salt Lake City in Utah. It's quite possible that some wires were crossed at some point and the stories got mixed up, but all the same, the ghosts are still present in San Antonio, so maybe something did happen at that crossing. I just suppose we'll never know what it was that caused those children to stick around. Subscribe for more.